Hi, welcome to HKWP. Today we are gonna deal with Docken Multi Vendor plugin. So this is one of the best multi vendor plugin that's available on WordPress. This multi vendor plugin which helps you to create your own marketplace, marketplace similar to Amazon, Shopify, eBay, Magento, etc. So Today we are going to deal with the light version of the Docken. This plugin is also having a pro version which is a paid one with additional features. So let's deal with the basic one light version which is a free version. So for that you can either download the plugin from here and upload the zip to your WordPress dashboard or you can directly download it from your WordPress dashboard. Just go to plugins, add new. and then search for docket just click on the install now and then activate the plugin and then you will be redirected to docket settings page So here the plugin is active. Now we are going to take the Docker settings page, where uh, you can see the appearance part first. These are all the settings of the Docker. So this appearance is uh, for the vendor page. How that, how the store page just looks like. If you want to show a map on the store page, then you can just enable this, and uh, the map. If it is for Google Map or Map Box, you can use either. And if you are using Google Map, then just you have to add Google Map API key. So you have to click API key over here and just go to get an API key section. And you can create your own API key from here and then just copy and paste it to here. Then if you want to show a contact form on store page you can just enable this and you can select any of the template from here and you can also add the closing time widget over there where you can show your store closing and opening time and for showing the sidebar and if you want to hide any of the vendor info the settings over here so these are all for the appearance section then let's see what's there the general section in general section if you want uh, vendors and customers to access the wp admin dashboard you can enable you can just disable it if you want to show it just enable it and this is for how you want to show the url like uh, your site url slash here it is by default it is store and you can just store slash vendor name or you can just hear vendor store slash vendor name so this text will be appeared over here that's how your url will be looking like that vendor store url and this is for uploading the logo and here it stores terms and condition if you want a vendor to enable the terms and condition you can just enable here and uh, this will be your privacy policy and you can just write it over here what's your privacy policy and then the page settings what are the things that you have to show it over here like store list which you see are going to be a store list and whatever it just what is which one is going to be a dashboard and your my order section just select the page appropriate and then just go to the selling option so this is how what that admin will get uh, that selection commission type if it is flat or percentage type of commission and how amount what's the amount you get from each sale then about the shipping fee recipient tax recipient and like the shipping fee will be if you want the vendor to have shipping fees you can just give vendor if you want admit to have the shipping fees you can just enable it over here and the same way it goes to tax fee also these are all the basic settings and let's deal with uh, how the products can be added and all those main parts so so we have gone through all the settings and let's see what all other manage settings are there this is a token dashboard where you can see how many vendors are there 
so have already added three vendors which was previously added and then these are the withdraw requests and these are all the current vendors in my store this was previously added as i said before if you want you can add it over here if you want it from admin side or you can do it directly from the register side and these are going to be the pro version of the token plugin features and all and settings page we just saw it so now let's see how we can create a vendor so let me just go to an incognito tab okay let's create an account a vendor account so you can see here whether I'm going to be registered as a customer or vendor so I'm just gonna give a test email id and a password too okay and i'm a vendor so if i'm a vendor it's gonna ask me more details so test test and my shop name is going to be test store and my url let it be like that so this is how my url will be so this is my vendor store url and the phone number okay and now just click on the register okay so we are successfully registered so we are just going through some settings over here so let's go and store product per page so how many products you have to show in a per page section so let it be 10 and these are all go to be the address of the store and which will be store shown in that contact page just if you want to show the email address in store you can you can do it from here also or we can go to talk and settings page if you are already enabled from me, you can just disable it from there. And these are going to be the bank transfer details. You can just enter it over here and so that you will get the money and all. So let's skip this step for now. You can just and then go to your store dashboard. So this is going to be the store, my test store dashboard where i can see the products so i was looking for something okay so here i can see the products over here the shop okay so here you can see the dashboard of my test store where I can see my products so currently I don't have any products if I want to add product I can just upload a product image a product name and price and I can give select category so let's just uh, simply add one okay I think I don't have any product so let me just add one and come back okay so I just added one so let me show it at the product image select one now okay, just add to the gallery and just add one sample product and its price 
this let this going to be accessory and whatever you can just just create product if you want to add more you can just click on the add new so I just added only one and the this is because I haven't added any cover image so let me add one cover image too let me see so this is going to my featured image and save the product so this is how we will add products to the vendor and in the order section we can see all the orders that's received for the particular vendor so here it's my store so test store so i can see all my orders and if there is any withdraw request i can just over here then the settings tab here i can just add my store banner and profile picture and everything how when and my store will be opened and all that that can be handled from here that this is where i will update my payment informations and let's see the store so you can see that this is how we have given like slash store slash the vendor names so this is my vendor name test store so you can see th with the template that i selected you can see my contact information over here and the banner if there is any banner you can see it over here so the product is actually added but we cannot see it from here because since we have to accept it from the admin side so here is the test store and let's see the products of test store So this is going to be there. So let's just so just click on the edit and just click on the so it will be published so just click on the publish button over there and then when you go to the vendor dashboard you can see that product is online now so in this tab i have logged in as a normal customer so for normal customers when you go to the shop page and select that particular product you can see a vendor tab over here which provides all the information of the particular vendor and this vendor name is also clickable which will take you to the particular vendor store and you can also see here a store list which shows all the vendors and from here also you can go to each and single vendor page and based on the vendor we can do the shopping so this is how easily we can set up the vendor and this is how we can easily arrange everything and i hope you understood the token plugging and it's working if yes please like and subscribe the channel thank you